We are currently in the Renew house that we call the retrofitted net zero energy water and waste home. It's a very unique research facility at Purdue University. We are in a residential house that was built in the 1920s. We're using it as a living lab. Students live here, but are also conducting research in the house on novel technologies. That includes solar panels on the roof that also warm water. We have water tanks that collect the warm water that we use around the house. The roof has been updated to a metal roof so that we can collect water. It goes into the house through an elaborate purification system to basically make drinking water out of rainwater. We have installed LED lights everywhere and we have highly upgraded the insulation. We have uh, triple pane windows everywhere in the house. We're trying to reduce the amount of waste that is produced. We can quantify how much energy each of these improvements will, will save and then uh, what is the payback. We have a long-standing relationship uh, having conducted research with Whirlpool for many years. There's a contract to the Center for High Performance Buildings with the single focus to run an entire house on DC voltage. We're using the house itself as a research facility. We equip the entire house with uh, measuring instrumentation just like we did the Renew house to do a energy base Line. Then after one year of baseline measurements, we will install uh, solar panels and together with the solar panels, a DC microgrid. Uh, the, both the Renew house and the DC microgrid house are at this point 100% unique across the USA. You will find at other universities houses that are research facilities. In all of those houses that I've seen, uh, occupation is simulated. But here, we have real people living in the house 24-7 and behaving like normal people, right? Which means not everything is on a schedule. Some of us happens arbitrarily. Here, we have the opportunity to uh, test equipment under real life conditions, which gives you a little bit different room of testing. That we can also look into reliability of equipment, long-term use, ease of use. We can bring in uh, a social uh, or personal or human aspect, a human perspective that is very difficult to duplicate in a laboratory environment. Alexa, turn the kitchen lights off. To best out what we can say from the occupants, really enhance the quality of their life, saving the planet uh, a house at a time.